Today on All Things 80s, it's time for another mask unboxing. Welcome back to All Things 80s and welcome to another Vintage Mask unboxing. This time we have Bullet along with rider Ali Bombay and his Vortex mask. This came out in 1987, which means when it came out I was no longer collecting toys as a child. So this is all going to be very new and exciting. Now, as I've said before with Mask, they did do a nice variety of toys ranging from the twin pack figures up to the larger vehicles. This one very much at the lower end of things, which meant it was quite affordable for kids and their pocket money. Um, packaging is very much similar to the Condor, which I distinctly remember buying as a kid with my pocket money. So without further ado, let's get this thing opened up and see what Bullet is all about. So here we are with Bullet and Ali Bombay with his Vortex mask. Now, it's quite possible that Mask had the best artwork in the 80s. Every single Mask vehicle I've had in my possession, the box artwork has been just stunning and a real 80s throwback with the design. I absolutely love it and, like I said, I think this could well be the best artwork on any toy line. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, this was a smaller sized vehicle which very much perfect for the pocket money collector. And there would have been, you know, dozens of these on the shelves back in the day. And it would have been a real chore trying to decide which one to get. But we'll get this one opened up and we'll see what it's all about. So, as with all mask vehicles, you get a really nice, sturdy feeling package. This thing's got some good weight to it, believe it or not, with, you know, the poster, catalogue, instructions and sticker sheet. Um, thankfully, there's not too many stickers on this one, but we'll get to that momentarily. The tape on this is quite sticky still, actually, so that's lasted well over the decades. And we'll see what we have inside. So as mentioned, there's the sticker sheet. Uh, not too much going on there. We have the instructions. So this goes from street bike into hovercraft. Um, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot involved in the transformation, which I guess was very much the case with these smaller sized vehicles. And so what do we have here? Label placement and uh, operations. So there's a button to be pressed. Um, yeah, we'll get to that shortly. And I'm guessing this is what? Oh, it's a grappling hook. Okay. And it's also got a front cannon. So let's just take a look. In fact, before we get to the, the bullet itself, this is the 87, 88 uh, catalog poster that I've already seen. Uh, my Manta came with this poster. It's actually a really good idea. And this would have looked great on kids' walls back in the day. So we have the 1987 uh, side, actually quite large, it's hard to get this all in frame, but this is um, covering waves, in fact, all waves I think, yeah, we've got, we're seeing wave one, wave two, wave three, so this was very much up to date, and uh, I guess by this point they were no longer pushing things like Rhino or the um, Thunderhawk, but they are, of course, giving us T-Bob and Scott Tracker. But anyway, we, we didn't come here to look at posters. We came to look at the bullet, and I just love the way that these uh, vehicles were packaged like this. There was no way these were getting damaged in transit, that's for sure. 
and I think it's a case of lifting up here. And of course, there's our figure. Wow, it's actually tiny. Um, smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's all right. And just get Ali Bombay out. So a figure I've never had before, so I'm interested to see what he's like. Very well uh, taped in here, has to be said. And I'm sure there'll be people pulling their hair out as I just destroy the packaging, but you know what? These toys are no good to me inside boxes or bags. So this is his Vortex helmet. Hell, I don't even know what way it goes on. That's interesting. Ah, it's this way, obviously, duh. So anyway, Ali Bombay. Um, I guess we could say that Mask was one of the first, or not the first, but it was a pretty uh, multicultural show with, with our heroes coming from all over the world. So this is Ali Bombay. And his um, face is actually quite nicely detailed. He's got painted on eyebrows and a painted moustache and chin beard. I don't recall if any of my other mask figures have such detail. But with his uh, Vortex mask on, I think I've got it the right way. He has a pretty cool looking uh, figure, has to be said. Nice colour scheme there. Now, Bullet. So, what do we have here? Wow, that's a very, very odd looking street bike. So here we are with our bullet all stickered up and it does look slightly better. Um, I maintain that this is not one of the better uh, mask vehicles, has to be said. Um, in street bike mode, it's a very odd looking design where with most of the mask vehicles, when they're in their street modes, they do look like convincing representations. This, on the other hand, does not look anything like a street bike, or none that I've seen, certainly, especially the way he's sitting in there. However, it does obviously transform, and to do that, you just undo this uh, tab, which also doubles as the kickstand if you want to display it in street bike mode. Uh, press this button to engage the sort of hovercraft mode. And it's got a tab here, oops, and there goes the rider. It's got a tab here to move forward to deploy the gun. Just put Ali back in his position there. And the one other feature that I briefly touched on was the grappling hook, which extends, what's that, about six inches or so, and can be recoiled with, by twisting this wheel. I can let you see that. Um, not the most fun packed of mask vehicles, it has to be said, but I suspect as we get into wave three, and especially the, the split seconds, they were possibly running out of ideas by that point. So in attack mode, um, hovercraft mode, it's, it is what it is. It's not the greatest, has to be said, but nevertheless, any mask toy is a good toy in my book. And to put it back into street bike mode, uh, push the gun back in, unclip the kickstand, and then just basically join these two halves together, click them in place. And there we go, back in street bike mode. Okay, so we've got Ali Bombay back in position, and just to sort of give these wheels a test, they are rubber tires, not Goodyear branded like many of the other mask vehicles. And they do turn, but not that well. Uh, not nearly as good as Condor, if we're talking about mask motorcycles. But nevertheless, I'm happy to have it in my collection. So this was the Bullet with Ali Bombay and his Vortex mask. So that was a look at Bullet, and if I'm being absolutely honest, by the time Wave 3 kicked in, the vehicles were just not as good as they were in the previous two waves. And in bike form, Bullet does look a bit ridiculous. However, with that being said, 
it's always a welcome addition to my collection to get a new mask vehicle and I'm very happy indeed to have it. So hope you enjoyed that. I want to say thank you for watching with special thanks going out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe and as always, stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.